This was the moment Bolivia's opposition protesters had been waiting for. The end of an era, as Evo Morales bowed out after nearly 14 years in office. There were scenes of euphoria in the capital, La Paz. I think the whole nation of Bolivia is happy. We've toppled a dictator. We've ended a regime of terror. In Santa Cruz, Bolivia's largest city and an opposition stronghold, protesters took to the streets. What these leaders never realize is that it's the people who decide. Let that be a message to Evo Morales and anyone who follows him. Key opposition figures said the news gave hope to the entire region. Bolivia is going to be the hope of all Latin America so that communism goes and the region has freedom and democracy. Morales stepped down after a chaotic 24 hours on Sunday. It started when international monitors called for the October election to be cancelled, saying the result had been manipulated. He announced his intention to hold a fresh vote. Despite that, pressure continued growing on him throughout the day, as one by one his allies resigned. But the key moment came when the army pulled its support, as its chief urged Morales to step down. I am resigning precisely so that my brothers and sisters, leaders of the socialist movement, don't continue to be held hostage, chased and threatened. Hours later, Morales tweeted that violent mobs were attacking his home. He also claimed that police officials had issued what he called an illegal warrant for his arrest. That's been denied by officials.